bottom-up workflow, we will be creating a program logic in the PXC4 device. One way to navigate to the programming editor is from the context menu. The other way is to use the programming task in the engineering editor. Otherwise, you could also choose show in program option from the context menu. In the plant navigation view, you can see the state of the device, the control program and all the data points added. The icon is white as the IOs are not yet used in the program. Let's use the IOs needed for programming a heating coil component. Following the application concept I am putting the inputs on the left and outputs on the right. To make the outputs ready for the normal operation, I am setting the enable and priority pins. Now we can take the PID controller from the library for control functions. The controller is also visible in the plant navigation view. And, the icons of the IOs used in the program changed to gray. To get the set point for supply air temperature on BACnet, right-click on the pin and choose Read from BACnet option. Select the type of object and the object will be added. You can change the name as required. I will set the present value as 21 from the BACnet properties. Connect the sensor value to the controller. As soon as the connection is picked, all the connectable pins are highlighted green. Connect the controller to the valve position output. Now, add a two-position switch with switch on point and hysteresis. Connect the valve position to the input of this block. Connect the output of this block to the pump command. Set the switch on point and hysteresis values and units from the interface tab. If required you can add a text box to write the remarks in the program. Click on play button. To use the play function it is required that the program is running. If you want to start the program after full download you can set it in the settings. Start the program and observe the state of the device. As soon as the program is running, click on play button. The online parameter changes are uploaded and the programming editor is online. You can see an orange frame around. And, the active binary connections are green. If the binary connection is inactive then it is shown by blue dotted lines. Choose for test option from context menu to see the live value of a pin. Otherwise, you could also press Ctrl key and click on the pin. You can observe that reducing the supply air temperature below the set point should open the valve. 
there is an error with the valve output. You can go to the engineering editor to check it. The state of both the editors is synced. The reliability shows over range and when I check the process value 2, it is 10. I will change it to 100 and you can observe the change. The value is changed online and the error is resolved. The valve is opening and showing the right value. Now when the temperature is increased, the valve starts closing. At the same time the pump is switching on which might not be the expected behavior. Let's check the details of the switch in the help file. You can use the easy search function and know more about the block. Here you can see that the control action has direct or indirect effect and the functioning defines the behavior. To get the direct effect I will change the pin to zero. Now when the valve starts opening, the pump switches on after the switch on point value is reached. And, when the valve starts closing, the pump switches off after the hysteresis value is reached. Now we will program a local exception using frost protection monitor. Click on pause. Drag and drop the frost protection monitor input in the programming area. The present value of this input will command the valve and the pump. In case of frost the valve should open 100% with protection mode priority. And, the pump should switch on with protection mode priority. Click on play to test this configuration. Currently, the local exception is inactive. Now when I reduce the supply air temperature below the set point, the valve starts to open and the pump switches on. If I activate the frost protection monitor now, the valve immediately opens 100% and pump remains on. At this point of time the outputs are commanded from two different sources but the source with higher priority which is the local exception wins. As I turn off the frost protection monitor, the control goes back to normal operation. To ensure the consistency of offline and online values please click on pause before closing the programming editor. You are at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.